Hi, I'm Dr. Y, and you're welcome to today's edition of Dr. Y series. Last week we talked about the things you need to know about your health before you get married, and we said a lot of things. So if you've not watched that video, please just follow this link and watch it, and I'm very sure you'll be glad you did. So this week we'll be talking about cough. I got messages from a lot of people that said, Dr. Y, could you please talk about cough again? So this week we'll be talking about cough. Stay tuned, and I'll be right back. In medicine, we say cough is a violent explosive respiratory maneuver that tends to clear the airways. Uh, that looks like jargons to everybody, but simply please, it's a mechanism the body uses to remove foreign particles or foreign bodies in the airway. That's the windpipe. Once you cough, cough is a reflex. Cough could be good and cough could be bad. But generally speaking, cough is a warning sign the body gives you. So once you are coughing, the body is only trying to tell you something like, there is something wrong somewhere, you need to pay attention to this. But in the place of um, when you're eating and talking or when you're talking and eat, what is happening there is that the food particle went into the windpipe or goes into the windpipe and your body tries to reject it or eject the particle by initiating the cough reflex. So cough in that aspect is good. Also, when you have things like um, you go to a place where there is smoke, or people are smoking around you, or you are smoking, and the air gets into the wrong place, you would cough. And that cough is another way of letting you know that you are doing something wrong. That doesn't mean smoking is good anyway. When you smoke and you take in air, you're indirectly putting toxins or poisons. And as time goes on, one may actually have complications as the person gets older. Likewise, Things like bacterial invasion or viral invasion or even fungal invasion or sometimes parasitic invasion in the lungs can make you cough. Like when I say bacterial invasion, I mean something like when you have pneumonia or tuberculosis or you have um, any infection like tonsillitis, pharyngitis, it can make you cough. Now, in that aspect, you need to take some precautions while treating it. Likewise, things like common colds, flu can also make you cough. If you expose yourself to smoke, when I mean smoke, I mean something like um, probably fumes from a generator or fumes from your car or fumes from probably cooking utensils or all those kind of things. It can make you cough. Another thing may interest you to know is that when you have a complication of hypertension, now complication of hypertension in the sense that the person has what we call pulmonary edema, in pulmonary edema, the person has fluid at the base of the lungs. And when fluid accumulates at the base of the lungs, the person would cough. The body is only trying to say something that something is there, something is not, that thing is not meant to be there. And so when the person is coughing, it's very important the person pays attention to it. Now, cough in that aspect is a warning. If the person does not present to the hospital on time for treatment or for checkup, the person may end up losing his life or having complications which may be fatal as time goes on. Other things that can cause cough include things like some people at times when sleeping have food particles or food um, residue or fluid coming from their um, from their oesophagus down to their throat and may want to trickle down to their airway it will make them cough. Once things like that happen the person needs to receive or attend or the person needs to seek medical treatment. Some cancers affecting the lungs can cause cough. So if you are coughing, it is very, very important you go to the hospital so that you can get the specific cause of the cough treated. Now, I've mentioned a lot of things that can cause cough, starting from pneumonia, tuberculosis, and pharyngitis, tonsillitis, the common cold, flu, smoking, congestive heart failure, acid reflux, and some cancers. Now, imagine this scenario. Somebody has heart failure, and the person has fluid in the lung, and the person goes to a pharmacy to buy something like cough syrup. You and I know that cough syrup will only suppress the cough, but it's not treating the cause of the cough. So what happens is that most times some people 
treat the symptom and not the cause, which is where we get it wrong. So once you have cough, it is very important you treat the cause of the cough. So in the case of this person I just said now, the person has heart failure, that's a complication of hypertension, and the person is coughing. If the person goes to buy cough syrup, the person will not treat himself. The person will just be worsening and worsening the condition. I'll give another scenario. Somebody has tuberculosis and the person goes to a pharmacy to buy um, some medications like coamoxiclav, it's a combination of drug, or something like cotrimoxazole. The person is not treating the cause of the tuberculosis. It's using the wrong antibiotics to treat the infection. The person wouldn't get better. The person may end up having complications of tuberculosis, which could be fatal. So in that scenario, I would always advise you, if you have cough, you need to come to the hospital so that you can get yourself checked. Sometimes you may need to do some investigations. It's not because we just want to make you spend money, but it's better we look for the primary cause of that cough so that we can treat it and prevent you from having complications. Sometimes you spend more money when buying drugs or trying to go around to seek for some other quack, if I use the word quack um, um, consultation. And I advise you anytime you have cough, it is important you come to the hospital so that you can get the cause of the cough checked. Now, don't forget I told you, cough is just a mechanism the body uses to remove foreign bodies from the windpipe. If you are coughing, it is important you treat the cause of the cough, not the symptom. Cough is a warning sign, and if you don't treat it on time, it may be fatal. Thank you for watching today's edition of Dr. Y series. If you found this information very useful, please don't forget the subscribe button is there and share it with your friends and like our videos. It will let us know how well we are doing so that we can do more. Once again, I am Dr. Y and your health is my priority. If you want to live long, stay strong.